Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a full face of Gucci. I pulled out all of my compacts, complexion products, lipsticks, and I will also be showing you all of the new lip liner and new eyeliner shades I picked up from Sephora. I know the sale is kind of sneaking up on us. It's right around the corner. I'm sure many of you are like me and you're kind of mentally creating your list. So in case anybody's interested, I'll be showing you all of those. I also attempted a new makeup trend today. So if you would like to hear my thoughts on these products and see how I achieved today's makeup look, just keep watching. Starting with primer, I'm going in first with the Silk Priming Serum from Gucci. I really like this primer. It's so thin and lightweight, but it does feel like it's sort of smoothing the canvas, filling in fine lines and pores. It has this creamy, kind of milky texture. And when it dries down on the skin, it does leave you feeling sort of silky smooth, almost a light powdery finish, but not too powdery. And I am blending this out with the Sephora 56 Foundation Pro Brush. Mm, has a very nice light floral fragrance. It helps to make the skin look so nice and smooth before foundation. It's really pretty. Next, I'm going in with the Gucci Natural Finish Fluid Foundation. I really like this foundation. I think it's perfect for every single day. It's got a nice medium coverage natural finish. I ordered mine directly from the Gucci website and the only issue I found was it was kind of difficult to choose a shade. Now that it's available other places like Sephora, they have the Sephora Shade Finder, you might have an easier time figuring it out. I went with 270C Fair Medium. I like it. I'm not sure this is the best shade for me, but I can make it work, so that's what I'm going to do. Unless I finish this, I'm not going to pick up another shade. We'll just make it work. I'm using the same brush I used to apply the primer, the Sephora 56 Pro. I can't tell if it's a little bit too peachy, maybe a little bit too yellow, too gold. I'm not sure. I think it works. It looks okay, especially as long as I blend it down my neck, it's fine. But it's hard to say if this is definitely the right shade since I haven't seen them all swatched in person. It can be a little bit streaky at first, so I just like to pat, make sure it's nice and blended. But I like the finish. It's not overly glowy, not overly matte. It's just kind of the perfect natural finish. Until we get a Gucci concealer, I'm going in now with my trusty Pat McGrath Labs concealer. I use the shade L3. This has been my go-to favorite for a long time now. It's pretty full coverage, so you don't need a lot. And it never creases on me, which is great. I'm starting to run low on my concealer, and I think when I replace it, instead of getting the L3, I'm going to go for a lighter shade. Which probably sounds crazy, because every time I apply it, it looks really light initially, but when it dries down and it oxidizes, it loses a lot of the brightness. I kind of just want to see what it will be like to have one shade lighter. I'm going to set my under eye using the Gucci Beauty Powder. This is the Matte Natural shade 01. It's the lightest shade available and it is pretty light, but you don't have to use very much. It's pretty silky, very finely milled. I am so happy this powder is now widely available. It's back. It was gone for a while. I think you could only pick it up at Selfridges and there were only a handful of shades. I bought mine directly from the Gucci website a long time ago. It's so nice. I love this powder. It's now available at Sephora. The compact is 
gorgeous and it's refillable. So underneath you have a little powder puff and there's the little circle right there. So you could put a pin through there and just purchase a refill if you wanted to, which is pretty cool. Because why would you want to throw this away? It's stunning. It looks so soft and airbrushed. Helps to minimize the appearance of the pores. Doesn't look too dry and cakey. Does look very brightening, but that's okay. I love it. It's the perfect setting powder. To warm things up, I'm going in now with the Gucci bronzing powder. I have the shade three and it's another stunning compact. I love the Tiffany blue and I think it's a nice detail that they didn't come out with the same compact for the powders, the bronzers, everything. They're a little bit different. Also refillable and just really beautiful. I'm really hoping we see Gucci blushes next. I think that would be the perfect next product for them to launch because they have these really beautiful compacts and they're doing so many complexion products. They might as well keep it going. Give us blush, give us highlights. Maybe eyeshadow. Eventually, I'm sure we will get there. Until Gucci gives us more, this is essentially the Gucci complexion, primer, foundation, setting powder, and bronzer. I love all four of those products and I think they work nicely together. Everything has come together so far. You have to be careful with the bronzer because it does have a hint of luminosity to it, which I really like. But depending on how your face hits the light, it can look a little bit dark. If I turn my head directly into my ring light, I think it looks really soft, blended, really beautiful. But as soon as I turn my head, it looks really dark and it appears as if I applied way too much bronzer. But it's kind of the light just playing tricks on you because it has that shimmer to it. I want to quickly finish the face so we can move on to the eyes. Today for blush, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Peach Blush. I love this shade. I've been using it a lot lately, keeping it in the top drawer. So beautiful. Every time spring comes around, I always grab my peach blush from Laura. It's the perfect soft flush. And to highlight the cheeks, I pulled out my Chantecaille Eclat Brilliant Face Powder. It's the most beautiful, blinding gold highlight. So pretty. I don't know why. I don't have much going on today, but my cheeks are going to be fancy. This is hands down one of my favorite highlighters in my entire collection but I always save it for special occasions. Well, it's about time I get some use out of it. Moving on now to eyes, I pulled out the Gucci bronzer and I'm going to buff a little bit of this into the crease. I cannot wait until we get Gucci eyeshadows. I hope they'll continue to expand their beauty range. I know they used to have eyeshadows, so I don't see why they wouldn't. My expectations are pretty high, so whatever they do come out with, it better be good. I'm going to run the bronzer underneath the lash line as well. I'm keeping this look simple on purpose because it's really going to be all about the eyeliner today. I picked up several shades of the new Gucci eyeliner and I want to test out the blue in particular. And then really quickly, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that highlight and I'm going to pop that on the inner lid. Again, we're keeping it really simple. Light eyeshadow is very on trend right now. I kind of like it, it's having a moment. I think it's so perfect for spring summer makeup to go really light with eyeshadow, but really concentrate on maybe fun eyeliner 
or brows, lashes. It's more of a minimal glam makeup. That suits my style a lot more than really bold, colorful, cut crease, rainbow eyeshadow. I think it's beautiful, but not something that I would like to wear. I always appreciate all of the trends, but it is nice to see a more natural look coming into style. Here are the three eyeliners I purchased from Gucci. I already showed you this really pretty chocolate brown. This is gorgeous. It could be your everyday eyeliner. Very happy with that. And I have yet to unbox these, so I also picked up the Bordeaux and the Celeste. Here is number four Bordeaux. They have a little grip right here. Gold cap. The eyeliners are retractable. And the bottom, and you get a pencil sharpener on the bottom. You have to be so careful putting the cap back on the eyeliner. This is the second time I accidentally broke off the tip. This is Celeste. I really like all three shades. They're stunning. The Bordeaux is beautiful. It's a little bit more plummy, more purple. It leans a little bit more purple than it does red. It's a lot deeper than Romance from Chanel. This color looks really interesting. It's a unique blue. So I'm gonna play around with that one today just to experiment. The chocolate brown is just a great chocolate brown. I don't know why, but the blue seems to be a little bit more stiff than the other shades. You kind of have to get it going. It's okay, but I really have to drag it across the eyelid to get any color. It's nice that it's a little bit harder because then it doesn't just break and smudge all over the place. You can be a little bit more precise, but it doesn't give you enough. You really have to keep going over and over and over the same line. And when it comes to eyeliner, that's the worst thing you could do. That's how you get all of those crazy edges. I like it. I think this color might be best in the waterline. And I did read on the box, they're safe for people who wear contacts, they're ophthalmologist tested. Let's see, I'm gonna try it in the waterline and see if that's better. In the waterline, it's pretty above the lash line. It's just a little bit too difficult to maneuver. For the sake of consistency, I took the Celeste eyeliner and I added it to the waterline over here. But above the lash line, I'm gonna go in with Bordeaux since this is the only shade that I haven't tried yet. I know I like the chocolate, but let's see what this looks like. I think it will be really nice in the waterline, but I was hoping to be able to use it above the lash line and kind of smudge it out. Because it's not that soft and it's a bit tougher, you can sharpen it pretty easily. That looks pretty. Ooh, I like this side.
This is my attempt at a soft wing. I think it looks really nice. I really like that. I'm back. I think I was able to fix it, so I did go over that blue eyeliner, the Celeste, using the Bordeaux. I found it to be much easier. There's just something about that blue. It's a little bit too tough, and all of them are, but the blue in particular, it was kind of rough. So as you can see, I'm doing the trendy fox eye look today. We did a soft wing, brought it in a tiny bit, but I kept the middle of the lash line blank, and then I brought it in a little bit as well, and I filled in the tear duct. The thing with these eyeliners is that I had to sharpen it quite a bit to be able to achieve this. Not the biggest deal in the world, but it's just sort of sad seeing all of that wasted product as you sharpen, sharpen, sharpen. But the end result looks nice. Don't judge just yet. <laughs> this makeup look isn't going to be for everybody, but I think it will come together. So let's finish the eyes. The next step is mascara. So I pulled out my Gucci L'Obscure Eve Black Mascara. I love this wand. It's nice and tapered, so it works really well on the inner lashes and the lower lash line. This has been in the top drawer ever since I purchased. I love this mascara because it never looks clumpy. Even as I go back for a second coat, it's never going to be too thick. Wow, that's just the mascara. I do get questions pretty regularly about my lash serum. I use Babe Lash, or I have been using Babe Lash for the last couple of months, and I have a coupon code, Erin Nicole 20 Everything is down in the description box, and I will leave the information for the sale that they have coming up. It's March 30th, one day only, and I've been told that this is going to be the only big sale until Black Friday, so it's a good time to stock up. If you're in the market for a new lash serum, I highly recommend Babe Lash. That's what I use, and I have had incredible results. I'm going in now with the Gucci Powder Eyebrow Pencil in the shade 04 Brun. Brown. <laughs> It's a bit softer, if I remember correctly, than the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil that I normally use. But we'll give it a shot. I remember really liking it. I haven't used it in a while though. I think it will work for the tail of the brow, but for the front, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit. I use shade four in this pencil as well. It's best for creating hair-like strokes. I love this pencil. Eyebrows are now done. I did go in with the Anastasia Brow Freeze and the Benefit Pencil. That has been my go-to routine. It's very difficult for me to use anything else now because I feel like I have finally perfected my brows. I do still really like this Gucci Pencil. It's not the best for creating hair light like strokes. It's better for a softer brow. And I was feeling kind of lazy today. I could probably have sharpened this, but even now I could go back and I could kind of fill in any blank spots with this pencil. It's just not my go-to brow pencil. 
Still a really nice product. The only other thing I did was I highlighted the brow bone using that Chantecaille highlighter and the eyes are now done. Comment below, let me know what you think about this fox eye trend. Do you like this makeup look? In the future, I would not go in with the blue eyeliner and the waterline. I don't think it ruined the look. I still can't really tell if I like it or not. When I look close up in the mirror, I think it looks really pretty, but when I look in the viewfinder, I look a little bit cross-eyed, so I'm not sure if maybe my wing is uneven or if there's something kind of funny happening. I'll have to wait until later on when I'm editing. I can review the footage and see what it looks like. The last step is lips. I have two Gucci lip liners. I already showed you guys the nude. I think this might be my favorite new nude lip liner. It's really beautiful. I just love the texture and I like that it's a little bit more brown. It's more of a neutral nude. I also picked up Rouge number four. I ordered these as soon as they launched on the Bergdorf Goodman website. They delivered them, but some something happened to the package. It never made its way to me, so I had to order them again from Sephora. I'm so happy that they're there, and it arrived without any issue. So this one is the Rouge. I think for today's look, I do have to run errands. I have to pick up Jazzy from the vet. So I'm going to go with the nude lip, but I want to show you what this rouge looks like as well. So first I'm going to show you the red lip and then I will pair this with a nude lip as well. So this is rouge. It's a standard pencil. There's no smudger, no sharpener in the box. Pretty basic, but I like the texture of them. Ooh. Now this one seems to be a bit softer than the nude. It's a bit creamier. Let me not talk while I do this. I like the color red. It is a true red. It's not really warm it's not really blue it's just kind of a neutral middle of the road red and i always like to fill in the corners <laughs> it looks kind of crazy i pulled out this gucci lipstick in the shade Edie scarlet this is one of the voile lipsticks so it goes on a little bit more sheer i love the packaging it's so beautiful This is the complete lip using the Rouge lip liner and the Edie Scarlet lipstick, this lip combination. I think it looks really nice. What do you think? The lipstick feels so creamy. I love the Gucci lipsticks. They're really pretty. And I really like this lip liner. It was kind of easy to apply. It did feel a little bit creamier than that nude, which seemed to be a little bit harder. I thought they would all be like that, but it was nice. It wasn't too slippery. It didn't slide all over the place. I still felt like I could get a really nice, precise line with this lip liner. I removed the red lipstick, and now we're going to go in with the lipstick du jour, which is going to be the nude lip liner and blaze of noon lipstick. It's been a minute since I've worn that shade. For a while I was wearing that every day. It was my go-to nude and then something happened. I probably purchased another nude. I'm gonna go in with the lip liner. These lipsticks are so nice. I think this is the perfect nude lip combination. It's kind of a pinky nude and it's a bit on the deeper side for a nude, but I love it. Could be your everyday lipstick. Creamy, comfortable, 
it stains the lips. It's one of those thicker creamy lipsticks like the Tom Ford formula. I love that. This is the complete makeup look for the day, our full face of Gucci. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. Let me know what you think about these new eyeliners, lip liners, the complexion products, this eye look. I can't wait to hear from you guys down in the comment section. We will keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.